Hey guys, welcome to Sew Beginnings. Uh, my name's Kristen. As you guys know, I haven't been on here for a while, but I wanted to go ahead and post a video just to bring you guys up to speed on what I've been doing and what I'm getting ready to start. So I'll start with what I'm getting ready to start. As some of you guys know, if you're sewist, this is March. It is two things. One, it's the Frugal Sews Challenge that is due by the 31st of this month. If you don't know what that is, it's where you have to choose one free pattern, a fabric from your stash, and you enter it at Frugal Sews, hashtag Frugal Sews 2022. And I pulled it up on my iPad so I could tell you all, because I couldn't remember the names, but the two ladies that are hosting it is Frugalissima and the Yorkshire Sew Girl. So if you are a sewist and you're on my channel, and I noticed I have a lot of subscribers recently, um, so I really need to get back to business. But if you're a sewist and you're on my channel, I'll be sure to link them in the description below so you can check that out. But again, it's a, you have to pick a free pattern, you have to pick a fabric from your stash, and then you post it on Instagram, hashtag Frugal Sews 2022. And then if you happen to go to their page, you're going to see a huge listing of all these free patterns that they're doing. And they actually give you links to these free patterns. And then they tell you about some uh, really nice fabrics and how to pair these patterns. The next thing is I have the daunting task since now that I'm going to start posting videos again of going through and watching all of my videos. As most of y'all have seen, I am missing a video somewhere for the Pelican Tote. I think it's video four, maybe video five, I'm not sure. I hope I haven't deleted it, but it's somewhere to be seen. I have no idea. So I'm gonna rewind, go all the way back, watch the videos, which uh, nobody wants to see themselves on camera. I don't care to listen, but I have a hard time just sitting watching myself on camera. So. I'm going to go back, try to watch and see those, see where I left off on things, and hopefully pick up where I left off and finish that last video for the Pelican Toe. Now, what I've been working on. I haven't started my Frugal Sews project yet. I really haven't even decided what pattern I'm going to use. Uh, but one thing that I have worked on are these Amelia wallets. I'm going to add these to my craft fair stash uh, it, for any that's not claimed anyways but this is a cute little pattern I got this pattern on Etsy I think the uh, pattern designer's name is Miss Freckles and it's really cute it actually puts me in mind excuse my mess there goes my whatever uh, old light bar it doesn't work anymore uh, it actually puts me in mind of these necessary clutch wallets. As you can see, this one's not finished. I need to get it riveted and put in the box for my craft fair. But it has this snap closure. These are called utility snaps. And as I was going through my videos today, I did realize that I'd done a video on these utility snaps. But I've done several videos that I never posted. And so I'll be sure to post that video now that I'm getting back on my YouTube and show you all how to install these metal snaps. I like them. I think it just, I don't know, it just brings my quality up a little bit because to me they just look a little bit more professional than the plastic cam snaps. I like the plastic cam snaps. They work really good on some projects, but on wallets, I just prefer some of these metal ones. So anyways, it's got, let's see, one, two, three, I would say three card slots because you can really put your cash and receipts here. It's got three card slots on each side. You can make this a fourth if you want. And then it's got a zipper. And of course I added my personal touch. These little sewing machine uh, zipper pulls. I got these from my when I was ordering stock for my website. So I have a whole bunch of them. And I think I'm going to add some of my hardware to my craft fairs too. Just so I can sell some of those because I have so much hardware so this is one that I made this is a art out art gallery fabric I made this one with waterproof canvas if you're gonna make yours with waterproof canvas let me warn you it is a lot thicker but I just think again it just makes the quality feel amazing 
I went with a brown zipper on this one. I think that's why I like it because the contrasting zipper so much. But I did not use a sewing machine zipper pull on that. I did decide to put our my logo on the back of here. Um, the only thing is, if you can tell, where's that at? Oh, it didn't happen on any of these. Oh, yes, it did. Right here, you can see a little dent right there. So I'm actually having to wait before I put the logo on the rest of them for the press because that the press I was using, the little tool that goes inside the press is too big and it causes them to mash. These two, I think, are, of course, some of my favorites just because of the design of them. Anytime I see anything that has to do with Western theme, I'm just, it instantly takes me to honey, so... Of course, I like that, but you can see right here where it kind of indents on the rivet, so I'm going to have to take these out, and then I will uh, re-rivet them whenever I get my little tool that goes on that rivet press. So, these are done. I made two of each. Again, I'm going to add those to my craft fair, craft show box, or whatever that is. Okay, so now for the big thing that has been coming for probably about... I don't know, a year and a half, two years, but I just haven't, not even two years yet, because Honey left in August, but not, I knew I wanted to make it the minute things happened, but I just, the idea of cutting his clothes is just, it's a hard thing to, I guess, comprehend and realize, especially if I mess up, but it's time for me to start and time for me to practice, so I did find a pattern that I really liked, I liked the shape of the bear, um, I just liked everything about it. And so I printed that pattern and started cutting the pieces last night. It's actually one of the more popular patterns. This is from uh, a company called Funky Friends. Let me pick that up. Sorry. It's from a company called Funky Friends. And they make all kinds of different characters. And it's really cute. It's a really cute bear. I like the shape of it. I'll actually show you. Because the reason I'm talking about this is because there are two of the memory bears that I actually want to choose from. One of them I really like. This is that one. This is called, oh, my battery, sorry. This is the pattern that I cut out last night. It's really cute. I love the shape of the head. I love how firm the body looks. It just looks really nice. I will have to purchase some buttons from here. The nose is done in a felt hand stitch, so I'm going to need to practice there. But then I was watching some videos because I, obviously I've never made a bear before. Oh, and let me show you this. I also purchased this pattern, which I thought was too cute. I purchased this pattern from them. Look at that. Is that not cute? So I might make that in the future too, but I need to practice the bear first. Um, so let me show you the other pattern that I am thinking about going with. And the reason why I was thinking about going with this pattern is because, one, it comes with a video, so it's going to be a lot easier for me to kind of, when I get stuck on a spot, I can go back and check it out and see if maybe they walk you through that step. And then, two, when you see the pattern, you're going to see why. Is because the minute I saw the bear, I was like, oh my gosh, okay. That looks exactly like something Honey would like with the little cowboy hat. Let me see if I can get in there on a picture. And look at the little overalls. Plus, it's got the collar. I'm not a big fan of the head on this one as much as I am of the memory bear. I just don't... The, the pointed nose, I think, is what gets me. I'm not a big fan of the pointed nose. But I believe I can probably maneuver that with the stuffing. So... Tell me what you think. I like both of them. This one, actually, you don't have a mouth on it. Uh, you could probably stitch a mouth on it, but it does come with the two safety eyes. And then I just love how they, they utilize the collar that comes on the shirt. Now, the first shirt that I'm going to use is going to be one of these two. I think we're going to go with this shirt here. Um, it has my the logo for where my husband worked at the time and it just has some of his little stains from working and stuff on it so it's really cute um i think i'm gonna have to omit this big logo back here simply because the graphic is way too big 
and I'm not sure I'd be able to fit it on the bear in a nice way to look nice. And then also, um, Abby picked out this shirt. She picked out both of the shirts, but um, she picked out this shirt last night, and this one has a really cute graphic right there, and then also it has the little flag right here, and I can utilize that somewhere on the bear too, maybe at the bottom of one of the feet or something. I'm not sure, but these are the two shirts I'm going to use. I'm going to probably guess that my first bear is not going to turn out perfect, but because I'm going to use one of his shirts, it's still going to be meaningful, and then it's going to give me some practice to go ahead and move on to the next shirt, which is where he has very few um, plaid shirts left, so vinyl, or not vinyl, um, plaid, you know what I'm talking about, flannel style shirts left, so I don't really want to cut into those until I'm confident in what I'm doing because I want to be able to utilize that collar and then somehow do the overalls too. So anyways, I just wanted to again jump on here, let you guys know what I'm doing. I'll be sure to post my Frugal Sews mission on here. I'll link the pattern that I decided to use and hopefully show you guys what I make. I can almost guess it's either going to be a nightgown or it's going to be a tank top because I need both. So anyways, I hope you guys have a great night. Don't forget be inspired.